Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Radha Juwita with student number 192068 from before 2019 English Education. So today for English for Tourism assignment, I would like to tell you about Varanus attraction and its love. Hope you enjoyed this video. Verona is one of the most romantic and beautiful city in Italy. So splendid was medieval Verona that its reputation alone inspired Shakespeare to set to place here. There are plenty more to see and explore with Verona being easily explored on foot and sites of historical interests found at every turn. This small old city conveniently looked by the edge by by the Adige River is a perfect place for an Italian weekend break filled with history, culture, food, drink, and a bit of shopping. Verna uh, have plenty attraction. Uh, so there are uh, Juliet's house. Juliet's house is one of the main attraction of Verona with the most famous balcony in the world. Every day, crowds of people make their way through the narrow archway into the courtyard to admire and photograph the famous balcony. Couples of all ages wear internal fidelity here in memory of Shakespeare's play Romeo and Juliet. Those who enter the courtyard of Juliet's house for the first time will be struck by thousands of small scraps of paper which cover the floor to the ceiling. All who write down their love vows to their partner and stick them on the wall will stay together with their partner for the rest of their lives and will be, ha will be very happy. Even touching the, the right breast of the bronze statue of Juliet in the small courtyard will bring luck to all who are trying to find their true love. Apart from the famous love story, Juliet's house has has another interesting attraction to offer. The house delights with its beautiful Gothic style from the 40th century and the individual rooms and halls. You can find numerous exhibits from the time of Romeo and Juliet, which give a good impression of life in ancient Verona. So next, in Verona, of course, we have Arena of Verona. As famous as Romeo and Juliet, the Arena of Verona was built by the, by the Romans in the first century AD in the Augustan period. The structure is, however, perfectly in line with the city's road network, as if, if to emphasize its perfect integration with the town center. The arena's vocation for, for shows and public functions has never been exhausted over the, can, over the centuries. At the time of the communists under, and under the Caligari trials were held, with judicial disputes being resolved by hand-to-hand -hand fights. Jodes and tournaments were held in the Middle Ages and up to 18th centuries, and still today, the arena is the, is the famous setting for Verona's spectacular, spectacular uh, opera season. Tickets to tour the inside of the arena cost 10 euro, and the standard opening hours are Tuesday through Sunday from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m., with the last admission at 6.30 p.m. Opening hours can be reducted when preparations are being made for events. Last but not least is, is Palazzo Barberini. The museum actually consists of two galleries, this Palazzo Barberini and the last visited Galleria Corsini in Via della Lungara. In total, this museum, which has passed into the National Gallery, has more than 5,000 pa 5, paintings, sculptures, and frescoes, mainly from the uh, 60th 
and 17th centuries. Highlights from the collection in Palazzo, in Palazzo Barberini in good work by Ravel, Philip, uh, Filippo Lippi, Carav Caravaggio, uh, Tintero, Tint Tintoretto, El Greso, and Bronzini. In addition, the place, the palace also has some impressive ceiling paintings, such as those in the Great Hall in Pietro da Cortona. The, play, the palace is especially interesting if you like painting or have a longer stay in Rome, Italy. In terms of gallery, I recommend it, the impressive Galleria Borges and in terms of Palace Field Galleria Colonna. So that's all uh, from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if I have a mistake, uh, if I mistaken a uh, bad spelling. So, uh, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.